Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Our update for Thursday, April 25th, 2019. We've got a free pick coming up in just a moment in tonight's NBA. But first quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, go check it out. Real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video and you get yourself set up for a free $60 account. Use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com. Again, you click on the link below the video, you get set up for a free $60 account. Uh, last night on a Wednesday, uh, we ended up with no play in baseball, unfortunately, with Brad Osmus deciding to start a reliever for one inning and bring in Felix Pena. Uh, more on that in just a bit. They brought him into the second inning. He was supposed to go in the opening frame, and, and uh, we did have a play of five unit on the Yankees. They came back to win, but a no play, unfortunately, for us. It would have been yet another win. We're perfect this week or perfect since Sunday in Major League Baseball, cashing a five unit two days ago. Uh, we thought we had one last night, but again, right at the start of the game, uh, you saw Osmus go with the reliever rather than Pena, brought in Pena the second, so we get a no play there. And then uh, on today's card, we do have another five-unit play, so we're looking to remain perfect since Sunday in baseball and cash a big five-unit play on Thursday. As far as the NBA is concerned, we're still on a 27-13, and 68% winning NBA run. We're still up over $4,000 for $100 per unit betters, but we came up a bucket short last night with our top play release on the Houston Rockets. I thought they were gonna we were gonna eke one out, pull one out at the end there, but uh, they came up a basket short to the Houston Rockets, and uh, we were hoping for one of those so-called meaningless fouls by the Utah Jazz with about 10 seconds to go in the game. Houston up seven, but they refrained, and uh, we take the loss by a point. But still, as I mentioned. 27 and 13, 68% with their last 40 NBA plays. I do have a play over at DocSports.com on uh, Thursday's card aside, so be sure to check that out on Thursday morning, along with that five-unit play in Major League Baseball, also available Thursday morning at DocSports.com. We are going to pass Thursday's NHL, uh, but I will be right back in action on Friday as we've already handicapped the next two days of action in the NHL, both Thursday and Friday's card, and on tomorrow's video, we'll have we'll give our uh, series plays that we have uh, with the games that start on Friday, the uh, series that start on Friday, I should say. Uh, we'll talk about those a little bit on tomorrow's video. Uh, before I get to the free pick today, again, just wanted to repeat, Major League Baseball, big five-unit play. We'll look to stay perfect in baseball since Sunday. NBA, we've got a side in NBA action on Thursday. It's also available ThursdayMorningDocSports.com. Wanted to jump into the NFL, then we'll get to the free pick. As we said yesterday, we have two teams from the AFC West we're going to talk about on today's video. We're going to start first uh, with the Chargers. You'll remember the other day, if you watched, we had the KC Chiefs. We said we lean towards the under. No official play uh, there yet. We'll have one maybe later this summer, but we're looking at the under and nothing else with KC and gave our reasons why. Today, we'll start with the Chargers, and we'll also feature the Raiders in just a moment. But the over-under wins total with the Chargers is 10 and listen, uh, they own uh, what looks to be the easiest or most manageable schedule in the AFC West this season. Uh, I like the way the defense has been so darn consistent over the last couple of years. Uh, they look to have Joey Bosa obviously healthy for the start of the 2019 campaign. Uh, their biggest issue, and they've got to address this, is the offensive line. If you remember last year, Phillip Rivers on the run more than we've ever seen him, I think, at least in a long time. In fact, uh, he was sacked 14 more times in 2018 than he was two seasons ago. So they got to take care of that issue. I do like their skill personnel, and obviously you got to like Phillip Rivers. The thing is, this guy's been amazing at how he's been basically injury-free his entire career, but he's not getting any younger, so they got to figure out a better way to protect him. And they were that close, you know, to make it a big leap as far as where they could have ended up last season. And uh, it's a situation where take care of that offensive line. Maybe they get there this year, but... Listen, they've got a run from October uh, 13th through November 18th. That's going to say a whole lot about the L.A. Chargers. They start at home against the Steelers uh, in, on October 13th, and then they go on the road at Tennessee, at Chicago, back home against Green Bay, uh, back on the road at Oakland, and then home to the Kansas City Chiefs. That road trip uh, also means that that Raiders game that I just mentioned puts the Raiders in a situation where they might be able to catch the Chargers in a rough spot. So it's a very dangerous October 13 through November 18 six game run that could be the difference in how far the Chargers go this season. I have them at 10 and 6. 
Uh, maybe a little bit better than that, but I'm right there where the books have them at 10 wins. So right now, I think they win no less than 10 games. And again, this is one of those teams, as we see how things go over the next six weeks or so, where we might come back and have a play. And if we do, we'll mention it on the videos. But uh, right now we have them going 10 and 6 with a lean towards the over. Now, I do have a game or a team, I should say, uh, that we can sink our teeth into right now. That's the Oakland Raiders. Uh, their over-under is six wins, guys. I don't think they're going to get there. They won four games a season ago. Uh, this team has a, a rough time over the last seven or eight, nine years, ten years of winning more than six or seven games. Listen, they might find themselves at one and four through the first five weeks of action, and they have that long season after that early bye. The bye comes in week six. We think they have a shot to win the opener at home against Denver, uh, before suffering four straight losses in all likelihood and then going into the bye at one and four. And when you check out the rest of the slate as I have, it looks like a four-win season and maybe, all right, I'll give them five wins. Let's say a five-win season for the Raiders this particular year. I like their targets, by the way. You look at guys like Terrell Williams, J.J. Nelson, and oh, by the way, let's keep Antonio Brown happy. They've got a shot to make some noise. And if Carr can get over some of the hiccups and dumb mistakes that he made when his team was driving last year. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they can win six or seven games this year. I just doubt that he's going to be able to find that sweet elixir, so to speak, and all of a sudden everything, you know, the bell goes off, so to speak, in his head, and he stops making dumb mistakes, you know, when he's on drives, when his team is on drives inside the other team's 30. Wasn't a case of throwing a ton of INTs, but fumbles and just dumb passes that were falling incomplete at uh, very inopportune times for the Oakland Raiders. I, I, the problem for me with Oakland, even if Carr gets it together, even if they keep the receiving core healthy, is their defense, which was not good. It was pathetic again last season. No pass rush, allow too many points, don't force turnovers, especially fumbles. Just right down the line, things you can pick, uh, nitpick, I should say, with the Oakland Raiders defense. And yeah, they should be a little bit better this year, but I'm not counting on that defense to make improvements in leaps and bounds. And the schedule maker did them a, well, let's just say they didn't do them any favors. The schedule is ultra tough for the Raiders this year also. So I'm going to stick with five wins. And in fact, I'm making a play on Oakland under six wins for the upcoming 2019 season. So Chargers, 10 wins. I agree with the books. I lean towards the over. We might play the over uh, six, eight weeks down the line. And of course, at that time, we'll tell you about it on the videos. As far as Oakland, we're playing it under six wins uh, right now. We don't think this team is going to be able to top five wins in 2019. All right, that's your uh, NFL update for today. We'll take a look at the final team in the AFC West with tomorrow's video, that being the Denver Broncos, and we'll tell you what we like there. As far as what, listen, I wanted to talk about this real quick with Brad Osmus and the uh, Angels, and I mentioned at the top of this report what happened to us last night. We got a no play on the Yankees because we did we do normally name pitchers, and we had Sabathia going against Pena, uh, the <clears throat> Angels starters, their rotation, as a hefty uh, first inning ERA, they're having a, tr a trouble getting out of that opening frame. And now two of the last three games we've seen Osmus start a reliever and then bring in the scheduled starter early on in the game. Last night, second inning, Pena starts it. But got to be very careful when it comes to the Angels right now. If you like playing against them, for instance, you don't need to really name the pitchers because you're taking a chance that Osmus is going to start a reliever. I, I don't like this guy as manager. I got to tell you, man, with Mike Sosha at the helm, now they haven't really done anything or gotten to the postseason for a few years, um, and, and they were playing second and third fiddle in this division. Uh, but I'll tell you what, Mike Sosha knew what the heck he was doing with the players he has, and he could steal this team eight, nine, ten wins a year. I don't think Osmus is going to do this. It's going to be an ugly season uh, for the Angels. But just a, a, little bit, a little bit of betting advice. This might be one of those cases where you don't name pitchers when you want to go against the Angels, knowing that the schedule starter is likely going to be in in the second or third inning rather than taking that no play. Just a little bit of advice on the Angels and how things look under Osmus so far through their, what is it, 9-16 and 16 horrible start. Uh, our free pick, we're going to turn to the NBA. We're going to play the under, which is about 208 uh, on Thursday. Of course, the matchup between the Nuggets and the Spurs and listen, I think San Antonio, they know they can't get into an up-and-down-the-court up-tempo game with Denver. They just don't have the horses this year. You're seeing such a big transition from what San Antonio's been for most of Popovich's tenure, you know, with having the Admiral around, with having Duncan, Parker, Manu, all those great guys and complimentary players around them who were so reacted so well to what Popovich wanted them to do night in, night out. So listen, it's a big transition. It is a rebuild. 
It is a definitely different looking San Antonio team. Sometimes they can go on stretches where they look pathetic like they did the other night. Uh, but I think what they know they've got to do is play a deliberate uh, brand of basketball, play better on the defensive end. So in what is an elimination game for them, they're down three games to two. I think we'll see a closer uh, a closer to the vest type of approach by San Antonio where they're concerned with defense and a slower tempo. And I think you're going to see the game finish under. So we'll play under between the Nuggets and the Spurs, our free pick for Thursday. And again, don't forget, we've got the side between Dan Denver and San Antonio. Uh, it's available at DocSports.com. We'd like to go to 28 and 13 with our current NBA run. We've got a baseball five-unit play going on Thursday. It's also available Thursday morning, DocSports.com. Let's stay red hot in both sports. All right, listen, if you like these videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'll be right back here Friday. Some more NFL, another free pick for Friday's card. Around 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific at the latest on a Friday morning. Let's put Thursday in the wind column. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com.